birth the death of twins. Smash a thumbs up if you know a twin or are a twin. <laughs> oh my gosh, birth is so hard. <laughs> Where is my husband? Nurse, it looks like her levels are spiky, but I think we can get her through this. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Congratulations, ma'am. You have two healthy girls. I'm so excited. I have twins. I've always wanted twin girls. These girls look super healthy. We're going to run some tests on them and take them over to the nursery. Okay, thank you. Uh, where is my husband? He missed the birth of our daughters, our twins. Hey, ma'am. What? I have some good news and some bad news. What, what is the good news? The good news is, is that your daughters are very healthy. All the tests cleared, they're going to live a very long life. <gasps> thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see them. Let me tell you the bad news here first. Doctor, what is it? Why do you have that look on your face? Well, it's your husband. He was in a major car accident and didn't make it. What? No. We tried everything to do to save him, but unfortunately, the crash was too much. No, no, I can't live without my husband. I can't do it. <laughs> nurse, nurse. I can't breathe. Her vitals are dropping right now. We need to save this lady. Bring out the refrigerator. Uh, clear, clear. What do we do? Doctor, I think we lost her. I don't know how to put this nurse, but both parents have passed away. His kids are on their own now. Well, what are we going to do with the kids? Two kids is so much to take care of. I know, there's only one thing we can do. We have to give them up for adoption. Oh my God, Stacy! and did you like see her outfit? It was so ugly. It's like she got it from like Walmart or something. <laughs> Rebecca? What? We need to talk. I'm busy right now. Anyway, Stacy, can you see that I'm in your face right now? Stacy, can I call you back? Yeah, my mom wants to talk. Did you spend $10,000 with my credit card? Mom, back to school shopping is happening in like a month and I had to get set. I need to have new clothes for school. Rebecca, why would you think that $10,000 was okay to spend on school clothes? Um, because Stacy's dad let her spend $15,000. I only spent $10,000. That's not a big deal. I can't wear the same outfit twice. I need outfits enough for the whole school year. Well, you've left with no choice, Rebecca. I've already taken care of that credit card, so you can't use it anymore. What? No, Mom, please do not cancel my credit card. How am no, I gonna go Rebecca? Shop? What? We're sending you to public summer camp. What? No, Mom, you cannot make me go to public summer camp. That's like free camp. Ew! If you do not attend public summer camp, we're gonna send you to boarding school. Boarding school? No! The choice is up to you. That's not fair! You're not even my real mom! I'm not your mom, but if she knew that you were saying this right now, she would think that you're a spoiled brat. <gasps> I hate you. Oh, I don't want to go to public summer camp. <gasps> Wait a second. Maybe I don't have to go by myself. I still have money. Let me call Stacy. It's not that much, but for $5,000, maybe Stacy will go. Hey, Stacy. I know it's not a lot, but I have $5,000. If you come to summer camp with me, then I'll give it to you. The only catch is it's a public free summer camp. Okay, fine. <sighs> You're the best, Stacy. I'm so sorry, but we'll get through this together. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are riding in a school bus. Ew. Ew, what are we doing in a public transportation vehicle? I guess this is how you go to camp. Rebecca. Just remember, you're paying me to come here. I know, I know. I gave you that $5,000 now. We're just gonna have to figure out a way to get through this camp so my mom doesn't send me to boarding school. All right, you guys, we are at the water park. So you have 30 minutes to play around and have some fun. Okay, but like, where are the jet skis? Yeah, and the yachts. That's not at this park. The rest of the friends will join. Go get yourselves comfortable. There's no jet skis, no yacht. We just have to like play in this water park. The water looks gross. You can't even drink it. Ugh, imagine how many germs are in here? How many people like touched the water? Oh my god, you're on the diving board. Oh my gosh, ew! The rest of the camp is coming soon. I wonder if these kids are like really weird. I bet these kids are really poor and broke. Obviously, I mean, they're playing in a water park in the middle of their town. Ugh, this is the worst. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, look at that girl down there. She's like in a really broke outfit. Ew, yeah, like brown pants or something. If we're gonna be here at summer camp, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. What are you gonna do? Watch this. What is she going to do, Zam fam? Stacy's doing something to that girl. Oh, hey. I think you dropped something in the pool. You pooed in the pool. <gasps> what? Oh. What? Oh. That wasn't me. Ew. That wasn't me. <gasps> she framed her and made everyone think that she went to the bathroom in the pool? That is so embarrassing. That is the worst. Stacy, that was the meanest prank ever. What were you thinking? Okay, Rebecca, I did what I had to do, and I'm out of here. Have fun at camp. Bye. Hey, no, you can't leave. Are you serious? I paid you $5,000 to stay with me. Ugh. Hey, what did you do that for? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything to you. You just made everyone believe that I pooped in the pool and now none of us can swim in it. What? That was not me at all. You're a liar. But maybe you did poop in the pool and that's why people don't want to go in it. You don't 
even know me. How dare you? How dare you accuse me of something I didn't do? That's it. Ah! You get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. I'm going to throw you in that pool, and you're never going to want to blame me for something I didn't do again. Hey, put her down. Okay, sorry you saw that, but she was saying that I did something to her, a prank that I did not do. Because she did do it. I did not do it. Listen, you two, you guys have been making trouble all day. We are going to force you guys to stay together for the rest of camp. Now, I'm going to bring you over to this room, and you guys are going to stay there for the rest of the day. What? No, I can't stay with her. I mean, look at her outfit. It's so gross. This girl is a spoiled brat. I don't want to spend another second with her. I'd rather be spoiled brat than look like you. You're done. Follow me. Seriously? Ugh. I have to stay at summer school detention with her. I mean, we have nothing in common. This is going to be the worst summer ever. This is the worst. I can't believe I have to spend all summer in the same room as you. Hey, this is not what I wanted to do. Okay, so you just don't talk to me anymore. I'm done talking with you. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you anyway, so I'm going to sit as far away from you as possible. My mom is the worst. She's probably at a spa right now getting a massage or soaking her feet in the pool and I am stuck here. She thinks she's teaching me a lesson, but really she probably just didn't want to take care of me. What are you doing? None of your business. Leave me alone. Bro, girl, I said, what are you doing? Why do you have a picture of my mom on your phone? Hey, stop spying on me. What are you talking about? That's my mom. Uh, no, that is my mom. Your mom is at a spa and that's impossible because my mom's not alive right now. Wait, your mom died? Yeah, I never met my mom. She died giving birth to me. I, I did get a picture from the doctor years after. I, every once in a while I look at it. it. makes me feel better. Wait, my mom died at birth. Both my parents died at birth. Wait, both my parents died at birth. Wait, this is... How old are you? I'm 13. How old are you? 13? I'm turning 14 in 12 days. Let me see that photo you had again. Can I see that? Yeah, it's right here. This is my mom. Uh, what is your name, by the way? My name's Bridget. What's your name? Bridget, I'm Rebecca. I'm gonna show you something on my phone. This is my dad. I mean, I never met him, but this is what he looked like. This is what the doctors gave me, at least. What? That's my dad. What is going on here? If your mom looks like my mom, my dad looks Looks like your dad. Does that mean that we're twins? This is crazy. Jinkies. <gasps> you see Jinkies too? Oh my God, yeah. Do you do your own hair too? We have the same hair. Is your belly button an innie or an outie? Outie, and I hate it. I have an outie too and I hate it. Hold on, come closer. You have a freckle on your right cheek just like me. Are we, if we're twins, what happened? We must have been separated at birth. Maybe we can sneak out of here together and get to the hospital. That way we can ask the doctor what happened. I still don't know what happened to my parents. I mean, our parents. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Let's sneak out of here. Let's go find out what happened to our parents. This is crazy. I didn't even know I had a sister. And now I just found out I have a twin. Okay, I, I know I've kind of been a spoiled brat, but this would be really cool to have a sister. Yes, doctor. We're 13 years old and we were born on May 30th. I don't quite remember that. Let me look this up in the records here. Just one second. It's all that we know about our parents so far. I found the file. <gasps> I remember your parents. You do? Your dad passed away in a tragic car accident on the way to see your birth. Well, I I was never told that. What about our mother? And, well, this is the, the really tough part. Your mom passed away after your birth of a panic attack when she heard about your father. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but both your parents are gone. So that means we are twins and we were separated, separated at, at birth? birth? Bridget, we really are twins and sisters. This is so shocking. We're the only family we have left. I, I have to go deliver another birth. It's actually twins and the dad hasn't made it here yet. I'll be back. Bridget, where do we go from here? I, I didn't even know I had a sister. I think we should stick together now. We're family. You're right, Bridget. And I want to apologize for being mean to you. That's not who I really am. I, I promise you I'm going to be a better sister and twin and person to not just you, but everyone. But I really hope that we can become best friends. I can see through all your richness. And I know at your heart, you are a good person. And I cannot wait to spend time with you and build a relationship. <sighs> Thanks, Bridget. Hey, by the way, that water park looked kind of fun. You want to go jump off the high dive? Are you sure? You want to go in there when there someone just pooped in it? Bridget, no one pooped. It was just a prank on you. One of my not-so-best friends did that to you. Come on. It was just a chocolate bar. I love chocolate swimming pools. Woo -woo. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to two twins today. Though they were born at the same time, they only met when they were 13, and they were best friends forever. Rest in peace, twins. See if that concludes us doing birth to death of twins. Comment below if you cried at all or what part was your favorite. Make sure you're subscribed so we can hit 1 million subscribers on ZamFam Gaming, and comment below what game you want us to play next.